Welcome everybody, RC Journey here. Now as you see I have another unboxing. Today we have the 1 to 12th scale D90 from MN Models. Um, now I will be taking a look at this, see if it has soft tires. And I will also be looking to see if there's not any upgrades coming. See if the Metal Gear axles from WPL will work in this vehicle. Because this is a Rover so I plan on putting this through the course. Now let's take a look at what the box is showing us. It says high strength shocks, won the 12th scale cross country series, oversized tires, and that it's four wheel drive. Other than that, it's not giving too much information. There's several different colors to choose from. I happen to get this one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to paint the outside of it. This color's growing on me. I might build it stock and then do some painting later on. So we'll see. Now for this build, since it is a kit, you will need transmitter and receiver. I got the cheap Fly Sky stuff. I also run a 20 amp ESC with a drag brake and lipo cutoff. Get these for about 12 bucks. Now all links will be in the description of the video. Now this is a 180. The stock 180 you can get. And then this is a my Abachi 180. The gold ring is a way you can tell the difference. Now I run these in mostly all my vehicles except for the 6x6 and the 8x8s but this can carry its own weight in the 6x6 and you can also get Maibachi 370s as well so keep that in mind and of course this is a bigger of the three but a LiPo battery that I use this is 1500 milliamp hour 7.4 volts I think it was 8 bucks so I'll see if this fits should get decent run time with this dropped it and it is not too heavy so all right let's dive in instructions probably take including the unboxing video maybe three videos to build this I'm gonna take my time build it right Make sure I super glue stuff that I know is just press fitted until I get upgrades. I like to run box stock videos so you guys know what you're getting right out of box. Not with any fancy upgrades or anything. You know exactly what to expect in my videos with an RC car that you're going to buy right out of box. Let's see what we have here. Okay, look like we have the front and rear axle, the headlight assembly, the front grille. So I will open all of this and make sure it's here. This seems to be back portion. Now it seems like you can run this a couple different ways as a convertible. this you can take that off and just run this or keep both of them off and run it as a convertible that is pretty big it's a pretty big hard body shell nice little roof rack There's the hood. There's your battery tray. Make sure it's going to go down like that. So just a perfect fit. The tires.
Tires are extremely soft, as a kit should be. So I really like that, and they'll definitely need to be glued. The back seems to be thinner, sidewalls, than the front. It's like a short course truck. A slash or something. So that's nice. And they give you five, so you get a spare in the back. Now this seems to be electronics, which they supply you with the 180. With the brass gear. That's always good. Now these do have friction shocks. And that axle does seem a lot longer. So I will get a ruler, so measure that up to a, a, w, a WPL axle. And I will paint the interior. I'm going to go ahead and do that before I assemble the truck. So if you're building this along with me, go ahead and take the time to try and paint your interior, because I will be doing so. And the dash as well. Got a lot of details there. Glove compartment. It's nice. So far I like. I really like. All the stickers. The Land Rover Defender. Which I will probably be using all these. Nice chassis. It's got a good bed liner painting on there. So, definitely will be taking my time with this build, make sure it's built right. Might be popping the drive shafts off and super gluing them. There's a ladder. Go up the side. And the other frame rail. So let me go ahead and get all this laid out and organized and make sure it's all there. All right, you guys, this truck is very detailed. We've got a lot of plastics, a lot of extras. From steering wheels to headlight buckets. And the bottom of the transmission has the same belly. As you can see that up the camera will focus. So you can, it's a little more detailed like the bottom of a motor, but that's gonna hold the transmission. And speaking of the transmission, plastic gears, if you can see that, it seems as though the yoke inside the actual drive shaft is thicker. So a little, little beefier drive shafts for a bigger vehicle. Still plastic gears. And bushings, not bearings. Stronger links than previous 16th scale models. I don't know if you can see the thickness of the links. So that's good. Clear lenses and clear headlights and tail lights. So front and rear head and tail lights are ready for LEDs. Now this is the rear axle length, and this is a WPL. So if you notice, if I line them up perfectly, it's about an eighth inch on each side. So just a hair wider than a WPL axle, so I'm not sure if the metal gears are going to work. And the friction shocks are different. There's something you would see on a Walmart RC car.